Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Kuba 476 on the three minute pool on ICC. Uh, this is my first Blitz game with a webcam. I'm going to try it out. Hope you guys like it. Um, those of you who uh, didn't watch my bullet tournament yesterday, where I also played with webcam, let me know what you think. Do you like this format? Um, I probably wouldn't do it all the time, because then I got to look like presentable all the time. But uh, I may consider like adding it once in a while. So um, we have a QGD exchange right here. I have a lot of experience in this line. Uh, I play knight ge2, so I'm going to try to play the central breakthrough plan, which is preparing f3 and e4, and we'll see how my opponent reacts to it. So right here, f3, trying to push the pawn in the middle, and that's the purpose of developing the knight through e2 uh, way back on move 9, is that you want to um, free up the f3 square so the pawn can go there, so that when you do play e4, you're able to recapture with the pawn, should black take with their pawn. Okay, he's playing the knight to e6. Uh, I'm going to play a centralizing move. I don't want to advance in the middle quite yet, so I'm just going to bring my rook behind. Okay, and then knight to e6, and he plays pawn to c5 thereafter. So that leaves d5 a bit weak, but can I make use of that? I don't know. I'm going to play bishop here and just ask this rook what it's going to do. Probably he'll play bishop d7. And I wonder if there's some way I can win a pawn out of this. Like, say, bishop d7, bishop takes, queen takes... Bishop takes f6, bishop takes f6, and then take on d4, or take on c5, rather. Uh, but he took on d4 first. So if I take here, is he really going to take on c3? Is that the plan? I don't quite believe that. I'm going to just take this. He's giving up an exchange. So he can take here, but I'll just pull this bishop back, probably to a4, where it's protected. If I'd gone to b5, it would be vulnerable to moves like queen b6, for instance. His e3 is now weak. I have to watch that square. All right, let's just recapture. So we're up uh, a bit of material now, one point material. He has a minor piece plus a pawn for the exchange. Knight c5 hits my bishop, probably bishop c2. Doing okay on time. He's got a little bit more than us. This is a three-minute game. Got to be speedy. E5 is still weak. I think I want to stick this knight on d4 first, though, above anything else. Then I'm uh, threatening to come into c6, and also f5 is very weak. So maybe now bishop f5. How about that? Yeah, let's go bishop f5. See if we can get a bishop swap, and my knight lands on that square. He might play bishop a4. He does. Okay, let's just play rook d2. Still like my position a lot. Offers a trade. Do I want the dark square bishops off? Probably. Although then e3 becomes weak again. I could drop my bishop back if I want. So if I take, he takes with the queen. Yeah, let's just do that. And then we'll play rook e1. Guard this pawn. Minute 12 to his minute 47. Um, let's play... Let's play this here. Just to guard the c4 square. Primo that capture. He doesn't do it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to play queen here. I just want my queen out of range of his knight if it ever comes into c4. That's my thinking with that move. Maybe bishop back to c2 is also a plan. This isn't easy. I have to break down his position, but it's a little difficult. I think I need to reroute this. Maybe knight b3. Let's start with knight b3, just see if we can take this guy out. He can maybe play rook c8 and support it. Possible I'll go to d4 with my queen in that case. Hmm. Let's come here, actually. I have a plan in mind. I'm going to see if he'll play king g7 so I can go check on d4. And then try to pick up this d5 pawn. Sneaky. Really? So what if I just take here? All right. Oh, I have 20 seconds left. I got to hurry. Man, <laughs> I just completely forgot about my time. Uh, take. Come here. I would definitely got to rush. This always happens to me in three minutes. Maybe I can play knight f5 soon. Um, hmm. I'm going to try this. This probably isn't sound, though. He can take and play queen g5. 
Yeah. Queen g5 is a killer. All right, let's come here, but knight f4. Hmm. Yeah, this is not good. Yeah, we just completely lost track of the time. Okay, I resign. Yeah, bad game. Used too much time trying to consolidate my advantage. I should have just played moves. Like, this whole idea wasn't anything special. I, like, overthought taking on h6 and whatnot. Um, that's been, uh, that's been my biggest weakness in the three-minute pool is just managing the time situation. It's a tough time control. Um, okay, so back here, this is the main idea, playing the knight to e2 if you want to go for this f3 and e4 plan. Um, there's also, like, the plan of putting the knight on f3. That's perfectly fine, too. But then black will play, like, rook e8, castles, knight f8, and uh, white will typically play, like, rook b1 and then go for b4 after that. So putting the knight on e2, rather, um, you keep open the option of going for the Maori attack if you want, um, but you can also play this f3, e4 idea. Uh, not that like knight ge2 is like that much better than knight f3. They're both completely playable, but um, usually white has more success with the knight ge2 plan from what I've seen. So I think the exchange sack definitely played to my favor. Bishop b5 and he took, and I took e8. I mean, maybe he can just play bishop d7 right here. Let's have a look and see. Bishop d7, but in that case I was planning on taking, and after like queen takes, I was wondering if I could maybe take here first, or actually probably take on f6 first, deflect the bishop, then take here, and his pawn on d5 will be indefensible. Yeah, if he takes with his knight, I can just take this way, and I'm simultaneously defending e3 and threatening knight takes f6, attack on his queen, awesome position. So maybe he is kind of forced to roll the dice a little bit. I mean, even if he moves his rook away, it's the same thing. Bishop takes f6, bishop takes f6, take here, and d5 is weak. So he took here, I took on e8. Yep, bishop a4, just wanted to make the bishop um, make sure it was on a defended square. If I had gone to b5 instead, then queen b6 could come and he would attack b5 and e3. So played the bishop back there, he took on b2, I took back. Yeah, and I think in summary, you know, white should be much, much better, if not just technically winning. I just, where did I use all my time? Probably starting right around here. Yeah, these moves are coming a little bit too slow. I have 106. I go down to 53 seconds. So 13 seconds used on that move. Yeah, that, way too long on that move. 53 seconds down to 36. It's just so easy to lose track of time in three minutes for whatever reason, this time control. But I want to get better at it. That's why I want to keep playing it. And even if I like suffer some losses, I, I don't really care. So yeah, and then this this whole knight f5 idea was pretty bad. I actually even saw the refutation queen g5, but I just knew like with this amount of time, I wasn't uh, going to have a chance unless I just went for it. So I was hoping like after this, like maybe, um, well, I don't know. I was hoping I'd either win the knight or maybe play f6 and attack his queen and threaten some stuff on g7, but it's it's pretty much a pipe dream. Queen g5 nicely dealt with that. Attacking my queen, and I don't have time to take his knight. So, time trouble, desperation. Okay, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.